thanks for joining me here on my latest fishing expedition up here back on the Y, one of my favourite waters as you all know. So it's absolutely looking bang on today, we've had some overnight rain, uh, we've got a good bit of colour to the water so there's no excuses today for not catching no fish. Well you never know, <laughs> I might come up with some excuses, fish just jump straight away, that's looking good so uh, yeah today I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video I'm going to show you maybe a different method to fish um, I usually come up here on the barbel bomb I've showed you how to do that um, I'm not going to do that today um, I'm going to use these um, flat method feeders as been seen around on the social network site it's been used a little bit um, I'm going to show you my take on it and how I go about it I'll show you the mix I use with it the size of the uh, flat method uh, feeder that I'm using um, in my setup same sort of how I do my videos so uh, loads to learn loads to see it's gonna be a great day I think it's gonna rain really looking forward to this so uh, right without further ado let's crack on <laughs> god look at this weather right first thing krill liquid container chuck some krill in the container good dollar for that bit of the old Y water, give that a shake, give that a shake, and that's what we're going to use to mix in with our method and make it all nice and stodgy. Don't put your liquid straight into your dry mix because you're not going to get an even distribution. So that's what I like to do mix in with the water and then chuck it in. Right, let's get the uh, method mix in. Right, so my method mix is going to consist of today, I've got a good quality. Uh, trout pellet ground bait mix and what I also got is I've got this krill the active mix and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these 50-50 so I'm going to start off by putting the method mix pellet mix there and then 50% active mix give them a good mix up And then what I'm going to do, if you remember, this water here, which has already got the krill flavouring, just put a bit in there, and I said it before, don't put too much water in, just a bit at a time, I don't overdo it, mix that in, and it goes nice and stodgy, that's where we want to be today, stodgy, <laughs> not dodgy, like me, stodgy, <laughs> alright, so, Already that's starting to look good. It's got loads of bits in it. Loads of, it's got little bits of pellet in there. It's got loads of bit that's float up, so that's going to break down nice down into the barbels area and it's going to attract them up. It's lovely smells of that krill. Oh, almost good enough to eat. <laughs> right, so what I like to do now, once that's mixed, I'm not going to give that much more. I'm going to give that about 10 minutes to soak in. And then I'll show you the uh, next stage. Nicely soaked in now, looking really good. So, right, what I'm going to do now is I've got some of these very, very small bloodworm pellets. As you can see, they're in the 2.3. Uh, really small pellet, as you can see. Uh, not too much to uh, overfeed the fish. So, I'm going to put a couple of handfuls of those in. Mix them in. Help myself some of these krill clusters. These are really good. I'm absolutely loving these. They're uh, really sticky, really smelly, really soft. So I'm going to put a few of those in. Maybe that's about a handful of those in there. Put that in there. And then I've got some bigger pellet, just normal trout pellet, these. Uh, I've got a handful of them. I'm not going to do too much. Actually, no, I'm going to put half a handful of those in there. Change your mind. Just pat that on there. Mix all that up. Good food source in there, not too much because you don't want to overfeed the fish. I want them to be smashing at that and then having my uh, bait that's going to be in that feeder. So, uh, right, that's gone a little bit dry now, so don't be frightened to uh, add a bit more liquid. So you want it to soak into all those pellets. Give it a last mix round. You know when it's out, you get that feeling when you know when that mix is ready, and that just comes with experience over years of fishing. But if you don't know that feeling, stodgy, look at that, that's absolutely so. And what it is, is this mix, it's not like your normal sort of uh, 
ground bait mix. You know, it's not sort of fluffy and stuff like that. You know, sometimes I'll put this through the riddle, but today I just want it to be really stodgy. I'm not going to put this through the riddle. Look at that. So when that's on that method mix and that's on that flat feeder, that's going to be holding really hard and the fish are going to come in there and they're going to be smashing that. And then once they smash that and release that bait of mine, they're going to be smashing that and hopefully uh, we're going to have ourselves a few fish today. Right. Now, I'm going to leave that another five more minutes, get myself a cup of tea and uh, I'll show you the, uh, the end tackle and how I'm going to fish this and then we're going to get fishing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, let me show you that end tackle. Right, today, 12 pound line, as usual. Um, lead core, I like to use a bit of lead core. got about two foot of lead core there, as you can see. Uh, reasons for that, it's quite snaggy out there, quite rocky, it's quite a bit of weed out there. And it gives me a bit of confidence, uh, you know, when the line's dragging against the uh, rocks and weed and stuff out there it's not going to sort of cut your line and make it quite you know it's quite abrasive and uh, it gives you a snap off so uh, that's why I've got that there that goes down to uh, one of these absolutely amazing ESP 100 gram I think that's about, about three and a half ounce flat feeders uh, absolutely awesome really flat that's going to hold on to the contours of the uh, bed of the river there um, keeping that really sort of low hopefully keeping it onto the bottom and not moving it because uh, there is quite a bit of flow there um, I say that's going to be built up there with that lovely method mix and then my uh, bait's going to be stuck inside that and uh, like I say the fish are going to be attacking that. Right, so uh, that's that end. Uh, then I've got a braid hook length of about, what's that, about 10 inches down to a krill barrel boilie. I've got a size uh, wide gate quarter hook there which is, uh, I say size, size 8 I think that is, yep. Not important, you know, good strong hook. Uh, nice wide gate, uh, can't go wrong. Uh, and that's it, all, uh, like I say, it's all, if you get snagged up, it can come out, so no snagging up fish, so it's all semi-fixed, safety at all times. Um, like I say, there has been a few people using flat feeders on the, on the Y, um, uh, not widely used, but uh, my first time today, and uh, let's see how we can go. Right, just thought I'd show you uh, how to uh, load the flat feeder, so, um, you can get a kit, you get a flat feeder and a mould for about just under six pound I think and uh, that'll get you started and then you can buy these flat feeders uh, individually, I think they're about two, two ninety nine each after that. So um, get your mould, a little indentation there, that's for putting your bait in. I've got myself a little bit of krill and a little tub there, I like to put a little bit of uh, liquid in there, get my hook bait, stick that in the indentation there, a little bit more krill on top of there. And then uh, fill your flat feeder up so it's just over the mould. Get your flat feeder. Uh, so you want your line coming out there, looped over, going back into there. Then press that down, nice and firm. Push that into the mould. And centre the mould, push that out. And you've got yourself a nice flat feeder with a nice moulded. Uh, ground bait around that. As you can see, the, there's my hook bait there. Hook's actually set outside the, the mould there, absolutely in A1 uh, position there, sorry, uh, for uh, hooking. So I'd just like to finish that off. Just press that down, give that a helping hand. And what that's going to do now, when that hits the water, it's not going to explode, it's not going to come off there, that's going to get right down to the bottom of the uh, riverbed and uh, hopefully stay on there until a barbel comes up and uh, starts attacking that. As you can see it'll be attacking that, attacking that because that's all really sort of stodgy on there. Once that that, that's going to pick that bait up first and whap. Hopefully uh, we got a barbel on the end of our rod. So uh, yeah, that's the theory and uh, let's see if we can uh, put that into practice. Uh, that's what he came for, catch a barbel on that flat feeder uh, and a beautiful example of a barbel, river wide barbel here 
What's that, about six pound? Hard fighting. Here comes the rain. <laughs> so, it's going to be short and sweet, this. Uh, there she goes. Look at them whiskers on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I say, and it's got that green tinge, as you've heard me say before. Lovely river wire, golden green colour. So, uh, yeah, that just shows that flat feeder. It's a different way of fishing. Um, they don't have to hit it as well, they hit it so hard. So, uh, right, without further ado, let's get this back safely. See if we can catch ourselves some more before it gets too dark or too wet. <laughs> right, time to put it back. Don't forget to hold the barbell up in the current. Let's get its breath back. Let's just give it a good old fight. Uh, you owe that to the barbell. Right, she's ready to go. Make sure she goes off nice and safely. There you go, one that gorgeous looking barbel. Typical of the River Y, and that's what we come up here for. So, not the most productive of days today, but that wasn't the idea. Today I just wanted to show you a different method, that flat method feeder. Um, something different to use up on the uh, Y. A few people have been using it and it's been very successful. Um, so that was my aim today, just to show you how to use that. Um, we had a bonus fish, had a couple more chub as well on it, so works for chub as well. So, uh, right, well, um, what's that? It's five past seven now, light's fading. Um, it's the first of October, uh, and even though it's been mild, it's getting quite cold now. I'm freaking froze, look at me all togged up. <laughs> so, uh, time to go back to that campsite, uh, get that fire pit going get ourselves something to eat for the evening and uh, think about how the day went. So uh, once again, thanks very much for joining me here on the Y. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a lot how to use that uh, flat method feeder. Uh, give it a try. Uh, another tool to your armory for barbel fishing. So uh, right, here's saying thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe. You know the score. Like me on Facebook. Like my YouTube account. And uh, yeah, right. See you soon.